Well, guys, here it is. Our attempt at a retirement send-off during a pandemic. You know, it's just too bad we couldn't think of some kind of cheesy award to give to each one of the retirees. Yeah, like some kind of award to symbolize what each one means to us? Yeah. Well, clearly, you all have not been keeping up with email because Dan Layton and Dana McCurry have been planning this for weeks. Recorded from the office is the Westmont Hilltop Golden Academy Award. Well, that only took 19 takes. <laughs> 19? Did someone say COVID-19? Uh. Uh. And the stories that I can share from uh, Mrs. Bennett as a substitute teacher and growing close to her family through wrestling, uh, to Norman. Uh, my first experience with Norman was with lunch duty at the middle school and those great memories that we had there. Uh, Claudia Christner, knowing her from the math department and as a young teacher looking up to the high school math department and looking forward to those vertical team meetings. And Peggy Antolik, uh, my first interaction with her was she checked me as a, a new teacher for Pink Eye. Uh, I thought I was going to get sent home in the first year of teaching. I'm uh, very scared as a young teacher. And of course, Mrs. Stem. Uh, the hours that I've spent in her office confiding in her uh, from an emotional standpoint, helping me along the way, uh, I can never really express my true gratitude to the five of you and the experiences and the memories that I have of all of you. So as superintendent of the Westmont Hilltop School District, on behalf of this district, a grateful school district, parents, thousands of students that you've positively impacted over the years, I wish you many years of retirement, healthy retirement, enjoyable retirement. The memories and the impact that you've had on these students and district is immeasurable. I wish you well, and I thank you for all the memories and care that you've given over the years. Thank you. Well, Chris, you may have known this person longer, but I was their student. Whether it was the students or a staff member, we knew we could count on this person. This person is not only a great staff member, but has become an amazing colleague and friend. Well, we know this person will really miss our Tuesday SEIP meetings with the new COVID-19 color-coded spreadsheet. May we have the envelope, please? And the Golden Band-Aid Award goes to Peggy Antolik. Antolik, you can't leave. What will we do without you? You didn't just take care of the students. You took care of us. You checked our blood pressure when things were, you know, pressure-like. Took our temperatures when we got whatever crud was going around the building. What if the next person doesn't like us as much? Do you make house calls? School calls? You can make school calls. Could you? Just kidding, Peggy. Listen, we're going to miss you. We appreciate all that you've done for us over the years. And now it's time to take care of you and your family. Uh, enjoy your retirement. We wish you the best always. Again, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Woohoo! Hey! Woohoo! You're Hi, with Peggy! Peggy. You're Peggy. Hey, guess what? There are some things that you're never going to hear again because you're a girlfriend. Hey! How about this one? The kids are never going to come up to you and say, I need an ice pack. Hey, my knee hurts. It's that time of the month. <laughs> or, hey, my head hurt last night. My mom said to have you check it out for me. Oh, then there's those ones, Peggy. You know, I got run over by the school bus. But hey, just wait. Miss Antolik, ask her what to do when you get to school. You'll be okay. And then, Peggy, you know, people come into your life 
and you just learn something from everybody. And what I learned from you is that these ice packs, they fix everything. And if you don't have an ice pack, just get a couple cough drops. Those will fix everything too. Can't get it in the screen. Hey, and then you know what, Nurse Peggy, we have saved so many lives with that Epi Pen. So many lives, Peggy. So no many. Oh my that. God! Without that training, we would be lost. Hey, but hey, girlfriend, here's to you. Congratulations, Peggy. Congratulations. You made it. Woo! Cheers to you. We're gonna miss you. We are gonna miss you. Hi, Peggy. Hey, I wanted to put this picture in here because I can see you outside walking around, taking your walks, getting some fresh air and enjoying your retirement. And I think that all of your days ahead of you are going to be like this. Um, you don't have to walk in the building anymore to get your exercise. So woohoo for that. Um, no, really, we are going to miss you. I know I'm going to miss you. Um, you're a wonderful person and always so kind and helpful and considerate and you took care of all of us whether we were having headaches or whatever it might be um, you were there for us and we appreciate you and um, we're going to miss you I know that um, I hope that you have a wonderful retirement and you enjoy your golden years ahead of you and you enjoy life to the fullest so take care and God bless Hi, Peggy. We just wanted to wish you a happy retirement um, and let you know that we are going to miss you greatly, but we wish you much health and happiness. And this is the best phase of your life, but you will be greatly missed. Yeah, congratulations, Peggy. Um, I'm sure you never envisioned that this would be the way your final year of your career would end up with this whole crazy pandemic thing. Um, but know that I really enjoyed um, a chance to work with you, um, especially during our time on the SAP team together. I really got to, you know, get to know you a lot better and you will definitely be missed. So congratulations on your retirement. Bye, Peggy. Bye. Peg, whether it's cornhole, charades, or hanging out by the fire, we've gotten to spend a lot of time together since you've moved to Jennerstown. And I'm so thankful for that. And we'll be able to do that even after you retire. What I'm wondering is, after retirement, are you going to miss me calling you and saying, is it okay for me to send little Johnny down to your office? Because he really needs to go to the bathroom. Anyway, I know you're going to enjoy reti retirement and spending all that extra time with your family, especially little Noah, as he's going to be growing up into such a little man. And always remember, we have our table at the Flying Lion. Happy retirement, Peg. Our next award goes to someone who has devoted countless hours to student success. Someone who always went above and beyond the call of duty to make sure everything she touched was truly golden. Not golden for herself, but for the students. Her efforts were always for the students. She is irreplaceable. She is truly awesome. Those of you that don't know, she shines so bright that she was recruited to the Westmont Hilltop Shine Patrol this year. She led our brightest students. And added a little light to those who needed some help. Her award arrives in a gift bag, one that can be re-gifted. She is truly a bright, gifted, gifted teacher. And so today, we are very proud to present the Golden Light Award to Jana Bennett. Jana, my dear friend and fellow thalassophile, 
I'm so thankful you had a home on the second floor for the past few years. Your compassion for the kids and passion for what you do make you such a special person, and I'm so glad to be able to call you my friend. I'm going to miss our visits, chats, and the time we've gotten to spend together. But I'm so excited for you and everything that lies ahead of you in retirement and in your new life. God bless you and enjoy. Happy retirement, Jana. Hey, Jana. Uh, we just wanted to wish you a happy retirement and uh, let you know that you're going to be greatly missed at Westmont. But I know that you are looking forward to spending your time um, with your soon-to-be husband and just enjoying life. But we'll really miss you. You're an awesome person. Yeah, Jana, congratulations on your retirement. Um, I'm sure this isn't how you envisioned your last uh, couple months at Westmont with this pandemic, but just know that um, out of everyone in this building, there may not be a nicer person than I agree. you. Um, you're always willing to go above and beyond with things like these goofy link Especially gigs. Especially all the and, things you've been doing recently yeah, to help with all everybody. This stuff, like this I would say forget stuff. it. I'm retired. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're awesome. <laughs> Just know that you will very much be missed by Julie and I. So congratulations all on our your love, retirement. Gina. See ya. See ya. And I feel like I'm really missing out because I wish I would have gotten to know you about 20 or 30 years ago. I think we could have been we could have been good friends. And I feel like we can't do that now because not only are you retiring, but but you're moving away. So if you miss teaching, I'm thinking, hey, zoom into one of my classes sometime uh, if you miss doing that, because I'm sure there are about a thousand topics that you could come up with an awesome, an awesome plan for. So if you miss it, the invitations here, come on back, life management skills, uh, we can get you, we can get you back in the classroom just occasionally, just, you know, one of those nostalgic kind of things for you if you want to come back, because I, I think... You're just, and I mentioned this last week to you uh, during Teacher Appreciation Week. It's not like it's your last one because you're always going to be a teacher. You're just that person. It's just the thing that you were cut out to do. You didn't miss your calling. We are going to miss you. And I feel bad that we can't give you a great send-off. And to all of our retirees, sorry, um, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss all of you. I wish we could do the banquet this um Social distancing is tough. Retirement is, is kind of tough. Although, I'm hoping I get there one day and I'm really loving it, like all of you are. Um, so best wishes, good health, tons of fun. Then the next chapter of your life is, is going to be great. I know it is. So going to miss you, Jana. Take care. Bye-bye. Woohoo! Hey, Jana, girlfriend, you're retiring. We're Yay! so excited for you, Jana. Hey, you Jana. Good. You are the multitasker, the yeah. jack of all trades. Yeah, Jenna, you're going to be hard to replace at Westmont. Just think, who's going to print out all those linkets for us? You're going to have to find all, find all those questions and print out all those papers and all those bubble sheets. You're going to be doing that in your sleep, girlfriend. <laughs> but hey, what about all those gifted IEPs? Oh. All those meetings you set up, all those hours and hours of that material. Whew. And if you weren't doing that, Jana, you're in your room building Legos. <laughs> you built so many Legos. You're the Lego queen. Hey, and then uh, you kept some pretty late hours here at Westmont for many, many years with this student council. And then, hey, remember at the middle school, we kind of had those little uh, <laughs> faculty meetings or little dinners, and we always got some Subway, and we all knew who that came from. So, Jana, you wore a lot of hats at, at uh, Westmont, but the best one you're going to wear is this June when you get to put on that veil and, boy, start a whole new life after this. We're really excited for you, Jana. All the best of luck to you, girlfriend. Hey, to you, Jana. Here's to you. We love you. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. Bye, we Jana. Bye-bye. Woohoo. Thank you. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Retiree. Woohoo. Hi, Jana and Jody. Hey, I just wanted to say hi and congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you. Um, but I just wanted to share that I truly enjoyed us working together when we were at the middle school and sharing all of our ideas and all of our kids together. Um, and when you were my secret Santa, I still have that little tile. Well, it was actually a big tile that you gave me in my Duke lanyard. 
um, so I just really have really fond memories of you and, and working together and I just want to wish you nothing but the best as you start your uh, new life out you know with your husband out east I think that you're moving and I just wish you nothing but the best because you deserve it okay good luck in everything that you do um, and I'll be here if you ever want to reach out and chat okay all right miss you congratulations again bye-bye Hey, Officer Bennett, it's Officer McCreary here on the Shine Patrol, here to wish you the best of luck in your future. And I cannot believe that we're already here at the end of the year. I remember you telling me that you were retiring, and I was dreading this moment from that day. I am so happy for you, though, and I am very grateful that for the time that we got to spend together. I am so, I'm going to take these off right now because I can't look through those anymore, but I am so grateful to have been with you this year, teaching seminar. I can't tell you how much I've learned from you, and I believe that I'm a better teacher because of you. I believe that I'm a better person because of you, because you honestly are so caring, so compassionate, so friendly and warm, and you give everything to your teaching career. You have, you've given it all. So you deserve this retirement. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to be happy and I wish you the best. I know that you will. You've met the per perfect man and I am very, very happy for you both. Um, please take care. Um, please keep in touch and I know that we'll be friends forever. I truly believe that and I wish you the best. God bless. Hilltopper is here to honor you in your retirement. I know I've had a lot of extra time on my hands during this serious time we've been going through, and I've been able to develop a new skill during these times. I've been working on my guitar playing and my singing and entertaining and songwriting. So I've written a special song straight from my heart to the retirees of 2020. Let me warm up first. <coughs> okay, good. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Straight from the heart. Here we go. Hey, hey, retirees dear. How I wish you were here. You could hear me strum, hear me sing. While we're all social distancing. My song about you, it ain't no jive. The 2020 retirees are the fabulous five. Claudia, Jenna, Peggy, Beth, and Norm. You all took the world of education by storm. Norm and Ed, you love art, we can tell. We're gonna miss your daily all is well. Students talking about their feelings all norm. 
you are the king of wearing scarves that are warm. Jana, you always got our spirits lifted. You are a natural to be supporting the gifted. You wore many hats, a number none could approach. Lego League Student Council, world's best instructional coach. Best STEM 20 years counselor and guide. Countless IEP meetings, class scheduling, what a ride. You cared about students, you gave them a voice. You handled tricky switch situations, a selfless choice. Claudia Christner, fearless leader of math. Minute to win it, writing checks purple. You showed us the path. Second floor hallway was fun for all to see. Singing It's Raining Men and Michael Jackson. Hee hee! Peggy Ann Tolick, Westmont's own Clara Barton. Ordering ice packs and cough drops by, by the carton. You had compassion and cared for our sick. When someone fainted, you brought the wheelchair real quick. Fabulous Five. It's a well-deserved time to retire. Congratulations. Focus on new goals and refire. Good luck and God bless in the future, retirees. to her retirement speech. You might remember me from teaching music at Westmont or maybe even pass me on the floor at the Meadows. There are a few other people who want to say some nice things about you, but first I'd like to quote, speak in your language and offer you some of my own sentiments about your retirement. In your retirement, I hope every day is like a WMS raging rhino machine and that even if it goes poorly, there'll be a bonus guarantee for you. I hope your days of retirement don't end up with you behind bars like Cachetti. At least you're guaranteed some moving wilds. I hope your years last as long as the long reels on the Spartacus Gladiator of Rome machine. Feel free to throw yourself some parties like a Super Jackpot party, a Dean Martin Wild party, a Dean Martin Pool party, or even a Dean Martin Vegas Shindig party. Relax with some good food such as some more chili some jumping jalapenos, and even a pint from Heidi's Beer House. Maybe you can even get some pets like, oh my god, puppies, oh my god, kittens, a Cheshire cat, or a buffalo gold. Claudia, Erica Wonderling, and Tom Callahan, you are the only three who understand anything I'm saying right now, and I want you all to know that. Maybe you and your friends could even get into some board games like Monopoly Hotshot, Life, Yahtzee, or even Clue. That clue with the rivers never wins a gosh darn thing. Or maybe even watch some TV like Wheel of Fortune Triple Cash, Price is Right Plinko, or The Big Bang Theory. But mostly, I hope you are able to summon up your Nordic spirit, spirit, make the most of your mystical fortune, and with a lucky 88, you can become queen of the wild in your retirement and find that African diamond in the rough. And now, here are some more videos of people singing your praises. Hi Claudia, I just wanted to record this to say congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. It's been a great 10 years working next to you, um, coming from that very first day when you and Jackie scared the crap out of me as a new teacher, and 10 years of sharing lunch and fighting over Diet Pepsi from the machine that never works. Um, I wish you nothing but the best, and I know you'll enjoy all of your time. Um, taking cruises, going on vacations, sitting around the pool. It's well-deserved. Thank you for everything that you've helped me with over the past 10 years. You've been a great mentor. Um, but don't go too far because I'm going to have uh, some babysitting duties for you pretty soon. And hopefully we can get Team Race Car back up for trivia. Um, take care and congratulations to all the other retirees. Hey, Claudia one of the witnesses to the dr great dryer experience at the Cinco de Mateo extravaganza. I want to wish you well as you head off into the sunset and hope you can find lots of time to enjoy your casinos and lots of cruises. Good luck. Hi, Claudia. Hey, do you like the picture? 
whenever I look at this picture, I, I think about you uh, for a couple of different reasons. One is because Las Vegas, and we all know that you love Las Vegas. And the other reason is because of fabulous. And I just remember you always saying, it's fabulous, 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 fabulous. It's just fabulous. So, um, and I enjoyed that. I think that you are fabulous, Claudia. I think that you're a lot of fun to be around. Um, we are going to miss you, all the things that you have done for this building and the teachers that you've mentored and the people, the students that you've taught and have um, connected with. And I know that a lot of people are going to miss you, uh, me including. And I wish you the best. I wish you many, many happy, healthy, wonderful, golden years. And I also, also hope that you hit the gold whenever you're in Vegas. So take care and God bless. Go. Woohoo! Hey, Claudia, you can't retire until we do one last open ended link it grading. It's you all for you, girlfriend. Yeah, you thought we weren't going to sit around that round table, but here we are. We're at the table ready to grade. What is Claudia going to do when she retires? Hey, girlfriend, you can play a heck of a lot more tennis. Woohoo! Hey, Claudia, you can take that cruise, but not like the last one where I think you got the coronavirus. Hey, and then guess what? You can do your dream job finally, 35 years, work at a casino. Woo! Hey, Woo Claudia, you know all those kitty cats that have been missing you all those days you go to work? You get to spend more time with your cats. Hey, and then girlfriend, don't forget we have to grade you, but remember it took us forever to figure out which side of the post-it we were on, but we got it together. We'll never so be able to replace you, but what do you get? Because we agreed that Claudia gets Whoop, well, it's a surprise. <laughs> hey, here it goes. Where it goes. Woohoo! Woo Claudia gets a four out of four on her retirement. So here's to you, here's Claudia. To you. Happy Cheers. retirement. We'll miss you. Bye, Claudia. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay, how long was that? Claudia Christner. Listen, do you remember when I had a couple of foot surgeries and I was told I could put weight on my heel but not the rest of my foot? Turn your foot out and hobble around the building? That was me. You loaned me your hurricane. I still appreciate that. That was a helpful little gadget. And so now as you head into retirement and I'm thinking about our health and I hope you don't need that hurricane anytime soon. Wishing you good health. Wishing you lots of fun in your retirement. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Bye-bye. Hey, Claudia, um, just wanted to send you a personal, private, um, well, I guess it's not private, but uh, personal um, retirement uh, send off, well wishes. Um, it, it's truly been a pleasure working with you. I remember uh, when I was student teaching with, uh, with Air McNair back in the day, um, you'd always stop in and make me laugh and, um, you know, keep things light and um, always uh, had some good advice on you know how to do things back then and even still to this day um you know good advice on on how to do things so um you know i i certainly appreciate all the good times and um and the work uh that we've done together in the trivia at nectar lounges and um introducing me to furco um you know and uh and and all that stuff so um wish you nothing but the best and many days sitting on the beach at uh, Siesta Key. So um, take care, happy retirement, thanks again. Claudia, we just wanted to stop by and wish you a happy retirement. Um, I know that we are going to miss you greatly. The school is going to miss you. But the cool thing is you don't live far away and you have a pool and I know where you live. And so this is not goodbye, this is see ya this summer. Claudia, congratulations on your retirement. Um, I'm sure you never anticipated your last year at Westmont would end the way that it has mm -hmm. with this crazy school year. Um, but I'd just like to send a personal thank you for the last 10 years um, in the math department. You were never anything but kind and welcoming um, to me, especially early on, whenever as a new teacher, you don't really know the ropes and you from the first day always made me feel welcome um, until the very last meeting. And um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, you will greatly be missed. 
And now that you're retired, I know that long ago, I don't know if you remember, you always <laughs> joked that if um, you hit the lottery, you'd hire me as your pool boy. Well, if you need that still, um, I can try to clear my schedule out here from my Zoom office hours and I'll sneak over to the pool <laughs> and I would be glad to be your pool boy. Okay. We love you, Claudia. Love you, Claudia. You will definitely be missed. Love you. Weren't those some awesome videos, Claudia? It is now my pleasure at this time to present you with Westmont Hilltop's Golden Calculator Award. Mrs. Layton, if you please. Isn't that beautiful? Congratulations. I also have a, another small award for you here. I'd like to present you with the Always On Time To Work Award. Use it wisely. Thank you so much for your time at Westmont, Claudia. We will miss you so much. Have a great night. Our next award goes to someone who has painted the world not only with color, but with care and understanding. Someone who is a mentor to not only our students, but to all of us. Spiritually, emotionally, and artistically, he is inspiring. He painted a canvas of responsibility and accountability for everyone. And so today, we are very proud to present the Westmont Hilltop Golden Paintbrush Award to Mr. Norman Ed. Hey Norm, we just wanted to stop by and wish you a happy retirement. Um, I really had the pleasure in the last three to four years to get you know, get to know you better uh, from church stuff and just you always would walk in the hallways and say good morning. I'm going to miss you uh, telling all the students good morning, good morning, good morning and stopping in my room to see how I'm doing when a lot of the times I was freaking out or anxious or nervous about my day, um, but you always uh, would stop in and uh, you're one of a kind, Norm, and I just wish you the very best. Yeah, Norm, congratulations on your retirement. I'm sure you didn't envision the last couple months with this pandemic kind of unfolding the way that it has, but um, yeah, just know that you'll definitely be missed. Always looked forward to seeing you in team meetings or in the hallway or always in such a good mood and always, you know, you can, ne you, you can never tell if you were having a bad day. Um, it always seemed like you were in a good mood and that will definitely be missed by Julie and I, but I know that we'll see each other during church. So all our love, Norm. Best of luck. Woohoo. Hey, Norman, you're retiring. Woo hey, Norm. Woo Kelly, why do you look so sad? Oh, I just don't know who to talk about my feelings with. Oh, that's right. That. Norman Ed never knew whether his first name was Norman or Ed. You know, like that was always a mystery. You know what I like about his retirement? I think he's going to dress the same in retirement <laughs> as he did when he came to school. Hey, I don't know, but if there's any other teacher, didn't you start here at Westmont, go to grade school and then middle school and then high school? You graduated from Westmont. You've been here forever. Holy cow, man. Norm, Norm, you're the real hill hilltopper. You're really the hilltopper. Maybe that's who you really are. That we guy's solved, a mystery. We solved the puzzle. So here we go, Miss Eckerode. Hey, to Norm. Nor Norman, congratulations. We're going to miss you, man. Bye, Norm. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Norman. How am I going to get along through the day without those words? I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm really going to miss you, Norman. 
Um, we have been through a lot these past couple years together, and I've really enjoyed having you right across the hall, my nice pit buddy. And um, I've enjoyed your spiritual meetings on Fridays. I've enjoyed the mentoring you, that you've showed me. Um, I've become a better teacher because of the comments that you have made. I appreciate those so much. And I am really going to miss you. You're a great person. Um, so many kids love you. Um, the school is going to miss you, all that you have offered them and done for them. Art club and um, just connecting with students. You have a way about you that you're so good at connecting. And I think that we're all going to miss that so much. Uh, I don't worry about you, though. I know you have a lot of cool plans ahead for your golden years. I wish you many, many happy, healthy, wonderful golden years. And God bless you. Years. I can't believe it. From making extra copies when my copy your counter exceeded the thousand copy limit from the middle school. Thank you so much. I still remember that. Um, to being a great host, whether it was a gathering at your loft or um, hosting us at the middle school on the pottery wheels and um, a spiritual mentor of sorts as well. Um, whether it was finding Christmas or the gatherings on Friday mornings. So you're so much appreciated and I will miss seeing you immensely. And I want to wish you well in your retirement. And I am sure that you will continue working on your artwork and it will continue moving people. Congratulations, Norman. I'm very happy for you. Hey, Norm, congratulations on your retirement. I wish you nothing but the best. I really miss working with you at the middle school um, and haven't seen you in a few years, but I just wanted to say hello and congratulations. Bye. Norman, Ed, I don't think anybody in the building is going to miss you more than me. And then for those of you who don't know this, I'll tell you why. Norman has to walk past my classroom to get to his classroom. And so every morning I would get a morning jam, always followed by, how are you doing today? And it was just that caring little thing that, was, that just meant so much to me. And not that other teachers don't care. It's just that we frequently are just so busy we don't take time to let each other know how much we care about them and, and what's going on. But, but Norman does that because... Norman understands life, he understands people, he understands education, he understands students. He's, he's not just this fountain of philosophy and, and great knowledge, though. He's also a funny guy. You got to ask him to tell you about the time when his kids were little, there was an injury, and what his daughter said. I can't ruin it because I can't tell it nearly as funny as he does, but you got to ask him about it. Still funny. Norman, I am not worried about you at all in retirement. You're going to get the most out of every day because that's what you do now. I am a little worried that you're going to miss us, so check back in from time to time. Uh, in the meantime, though, best wishes to you. Enjoy retirement. Bye-bye. Julie, have you seen Beth? No, I haven't seen her. She's supposed to be teaching career stuff in seminar class today. I thought school was canceled for the 1920 school year. Did you check the office? All right, well, thanks a lot, Keith. I think that went well. Hey, I wonder why Beth didn't show up this morning. She's supposed to be part of this meeting. Yeah, I heard she was busy. Like, we were supposed to meet with Lynn this morning to talk about the master schedule, and she just never showed up. I, I think she was struggling with something with the of the eighth grade. All right, I'll go check with Lynn. All right, thanks, buddy. Have a good one. All right. Yeah, see you later. Come in. Hey, Lynn, have you seen Beth? No. Did you check her office? 
you know, it's funny, she was supposed to meet with me this morning and then she canceled, so I called Julie and Julie said that she was helping a seventh grade student with their schedule for next school year. Okay. Michelle. Yes. Okay. No, I think she's off today. I think she's giving a speech at the Pennsylvania Association of School Counselors. Did you know she was president today? Where's the conference? I don't know that. Well, do you guys ever check email? Beth is retired. I got pulled in a lot of directions trying to find you today. For years, you have given direction to so many of your students, fellow staff members, and those that are privileged enough to call you a friend. They say that anybody is replaceable, but just not in equal parts. Well, Beth, for all the roles that you have filled and the ships that you have righted over the years, today, award, we offer you the Golden Compass Award. Hopefully the waters of retirement are much easier to navigate than the time that was spent in a junior high counselor's office. I know that the ship that you are now sailing with Rick and Claire has a very capable captain. Congratulations. Hey Beth, we just wanted to stop by and wish you a happy retirement. Um, I had the pleasure of working with you for the past I was like four to five years and you are definitely somebody that cares so much about the kids, but it's now time for you to go enjoy being with your husband and I just wish you much health because that's what's most important and we'll, we're going to miss you very, very much. Yeah, Beth, congratulations on your retirement. I'm sure it's not the way that you envisioned the last couple months of your career going with this whole crazy school being canceled in pandemic, but um, just know that personally, I really have enjoyed um, having an opportunity to work with you. Um, I really got to know you during um, our chances to work together on the SAP team for about six or seven years. Um, I know for sure that my takeaway in my memory of you would just be how much you care about the kids. Um, I always saw it from afar, but then when I got to see um, inside of SAP meetings, how much you really care, that will be missed. And the kids who are fortunate enough to have you as their counselor were better for it. And I will definitely miss you. Absolutely, Beth. God bless and all of our love. Congratulations. Hi, Beth. Hey, you did it. You made it through the seminar this year. Woohoo! All right, girl, go. And you did a great job. You were so nervous about that. And I'm telling you what, you did a wonderful job with them. Um, thank you for all that you have done. I'm so glad with you this year and get to know you a little better. I wish you the best. I am so happy for you. Please enjoy your retirement. I wish you many, many happy, golden years ahead of you. God bless you. Hey, Beth. Congratulations and good for you. Make a break for it before it breaks you and your helpful spirit. I hope you enjoy your retirement tremendously and you never look back. Beth Stem, our school counselor. Beth is so good at her job because she will take the time to sit down and talk with students when they have a problem. And, and she'll really take the time to listen and she cares. And, and other people aren't as good at that because they're more of a... Okay, boo-hoo, suck it up, get over it. But not Beth. She's suited to this job because she cares. And so on behalf of all of those students who never properly thanked you, Beth, thanks for all that you've done for the students over the years. And now that I'm thinking, you know, if you need a little extra cash in retirement, you know how stressful it can be to be a teacher. You could set up some counseling sessions with teachers in retirement. We don't need to come to your house. I mean, you know, social distancing and quarantine and all. Telemedicine. Let me know when I can zoom into some office hours with you. I need a little counseling. A lot of us do. But in all seriousness, though, Beth, enjoy your retirement. Best wishes for good health and fun in, in, in the next chapter of your life. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey Beth, oh, Beth. you're retiring girlfriend. You made it. You made it. We envy you. Hey, I'm sure though there are things that you are so sick of hearing multiple, like multiple times every day. 
She won't let me go to the bathroom. He pushed me in the hallway. He stuck his tongue out at me. She was mean to me. She texted bad things I said I didn't say. Why are they like treating me like this so bad? Hey, yesterday she hated me, but we're best friends now. They cut in front of me in the lunch line. She won't let me go to the bathroom, Mrs. Stem. But you know, Beth, we were talking and we were thinking, you know, no matter what these kids say to you, we always respected that professionalism you showed them. You always showed up with this face for them. So here's to you, Beth. You made it. <laughs> hey, Beth. Here's to you, girlfriend. Congratulations. Many more years of good health and woohoo. And none of this. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> All you retirees. So Claudia and Jana and Beth and Norm and Peggy, I just wanted to wish you the best retirement ever in this virtual retirement send off. So you guys enjoy and thank you for all that you've ever done for all of us and all the kids. Thanks. Hi retirees. Wanted to say thank you for um, your, your time of service and all of you've done in um, at Westmont and for the students of Westmont. So Beth, Norm, Peggy, Jana, Claudia, congratulations on your retirement. I wish you a long and healthy retirement. Now your only job is to have fun. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey Peggy, Jana, Claudia, Norman, and Beth. Um, just wanted to wish you guys a happy retirement. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you guys for the past 10 years. Um, and I wish you nothing but the best moving forward. Uh, take care. I know it's not the uh, ending anybody imagined, but um, hey, early retirement. So take care. God bless. Uh, I'll be talking to you all soon, I'm sure. Hey, Jana, Peggy, Norman, Beth, and Claudia. I dug out my Westmont Hilltop sportswear to congratulate you as you begin this new chapter in your lives. It's been a great honor and privilege to work beside such dedicated educators. Westmont Hilltop is a better place because each one of you were a part of it. Come back and visit us, but enjoy. I just want to wish all you guys a happy and healthy retirement. Thank you for all that you've done for our school and for me personally. Uh, good luck, God bless, and I'll see you all next year at the Senior Citizen Luncheon. Well, Norm, Jana, Claudia, Beth and Peggy, You'll be missed at Westmont. Um, congratulations on your retirement and enjoy all your free time. Hey everybody, uh, I wish all of our retirees well. I'm going to miss you next year. Uh, the building definitely isn't going to be the same without you and I wish you well in your next adventures. Congratulations and happy retirement. With the five of you leaving, you're really leaving a bunch of holes in our building. It really uh, is, a, is a diverse group. So Claudia, just wanted to uh, thank you for everything that you've helped me with and helped the TSA or Trout in the Classroom or Fly Fishing Club students with. Uh, we virtually started three clubs out of one club and had to disperse the monies and fundraising and things like that. And um, you were such a great help on, on helping us to keep things organized and get things straight. So, um, you know, highly want to thank you for that. You've, you've touched a lot of students uh, throughout the district for many years and um, you know, some of the things that, that I saw, uh, w w which was really cool, was your minute to win it. 
Um, I think the excitement that, that I would see on the kids' faces doing the Minute to Win It challenges, and uh, I really think that that's, that's what learning is all about. They had so much fun, and, and oh yes, they were, they were learning a little bit of uh, math and statistics as well. So uh, congratulations to you, and best of luck with retirement. Peggy, wanted to thank you for your countless bags and bags and bags full of Band-Aids. Um, just like you, many times I would have students run up to me working in the workshop and would show me their hands and would tell me they needed Band-Aids for cuts. Um, I would look as close as I possibly could and, you know, for whatever reason, I couldn't really see those cuts, but I supplied them with those Band-Aids that they asked for. Uh, and at times, I think you're a miracle worker, too. Um, there were definitely um, many bandages or, let's say, uh, sutures saved because of your bandaging techniques where students didn't necessarily have to leave the building and go get stitches because for some odd reason they may have been attacked by a bandsaw or, or a palm sander or something like that. So you were able to uh, mend up a couple students as well over the years. So thank you for everything that you've done for my students and, and all students over the years. Uh, Beth. You've also helped me a lot, especially with the TSA schedule. Um, our schedule seemed to change every year, and um, you know, looking at the A day, B day, competition, not competition, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, our schedule has fluctuated, and, and we found ways to improve it. Unfortunately, uh, all of your hard work is going to be passed on to somebody else. Um, you know, you've, you've really put the kids in a great position to be challenged and, and to be successful uh, in every area. Um, but you know specifically the, the TSA kids, you've you've really um, you know you've really helped put them in a in a great position. So I thank you for that, uh, Jana. Working with you in the middle school, you've been a great mentor. Um, you've helped me tremendously working with um, some of the students that I was able to challenge through different enrichment activities. Um, yeah, I've learned to have a different level of compassion that I see that you have for those kids every day. And just from our, especially with the last couple meetings and seeing uh, some of the tears that you shed because you don't necessarily want to leave those kids, you know, that's, that's rewarding too, just to, uh, just to know how much you care. And, and just from chatting with them, they know how much you care as well. And uh, lastly, Norm, I shared a door with you for 11 years. You've been a great mentor, just not uh, for me as a young teacher several years ago, um, but just uh, a, a daily mentor. Uh, we've talked a lot about um, everything from some of our students and how we can help them to obviously some of the things that we're involved in personally. And uh, you've, you've been a great friend, a great mentor, and uh, you will be missed. So all of you, congratulations. Uh, you deserve it. Hopefully, maybe we can reach out to you at some point and, and pick your brain or Maybe you'll be um, somewhere on some little island somewhere sipping some margaritas. So congratulations to you. Best of luck and take care. I just wanted to just to give a quick hello. And I want to just say a few things uh, to all of you who are retiring. And uh, um, I have a little gift for you all, too. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is since you're all leaving, I thought, well, maybe your rooms are available. And that's try them out and see how good they are. So, um, Jana, I'm going to start with you. Um, I love what you've done with this room. Might even consider it, you know, it'll be open for next year. Maybe I'll move in, move in here and uh, see if I like it. Um, you probably have some great memories in the short time you were in here. I enjoyed working with you. Uh, I am always impressed with your dedication, like how you just we're always there for the students who are helping us as teachers. You've never phoned it in. You're, you're working uh, tirelessly and are so dedicated right up to the bitter end. I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to spend too much time together in these last few months. I know you've uh, said verbally that you've really missed not only the, the teachers, but the students. And I wanted to give you a little uh, going away gift that uh, maybe helps remind you just what you experienced before. So in the spirit of your uh, working with your junior high schoolers, I gave you a uh, your own very own classic Lego set uh, for your own um, Lego league. You can start out, and of course, if we're talking about middle schoolers, you need a little five hour energy drink. So you need to get all hopped up on caffeine and uh, act like a seventh grader. Anyway, 
Um, as much as, wow, you know, I love this room, is one problem. It was a closet at one point in time. Yeah, this, this was basically the room to store the, the sign stuff. So uh, um, I think I'll let somebody else take it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to miss you. Good luck with everything. You know, Beth, I like what you've done with the place. It's really nice. It's cozy. It's warm. It's inviting. It would make a very nice little cozy room. The problem is, of course, I have 30 students in a class, so I don't think we could fit everybody in here. Would be nice to have my own secretary, though. Anyway, Beth, I've worked with you for quite a few years now. Uh, I've enjoyed working with you. I uh, admire your dedication, and I just think back to, like, all the students that have passed through the school that you've, you've made an impact on their life and made a difference and helped them out in so many different ways that they probably don't even realize. And, you know, oftentimes what a thankless job this can be. Uh, you are probably tired of giving people advice because that's what you've been doing for so long. And if you ever get to the point, uh, I do want to let you know that, uh, uh, that somebody comes up to you and says, hey, Beth, I got a question for you. Can you, get, can you do me a favor? Let's try that again. You know what? This place is pretty nice. Nice, cozy little place you got here, Beth. It'd be nice to maybe make it in my classroom because then I get my own secretary. The only problem is that I see is, is that, well, it's a little bit too cramped for 30 people. Um, Beth, it's been a pleasure working with you. I uh, can't believe it's been all these years and all these students that have passed through the doors that we've worked with to try to improve their lives. You must be, you know, you must have spent so many countless hours helping out students, giving them advice that probably when it's time to retire that somebody comes with some advice, although you might miss a little bit, it might be a little bit too much for you. So on those days and on those occasions, I have a little gift for you here, your own Magic 8 Ball. So when somebody asks you a question or something, you can merely just shake it, look and say, ask me again later. All right, Beth, pleasure working with you. Good luck with everything. Um, as much as I love this room, I don't think I'm gonna be trying it out for myself, so. The nurse's office, huh? Never thought of that before, but I realized that if it's gonna be vacated, get my own bathroom, bed to sleep in during my prep period, that's pretty nice. Peggy, it's it's just been a pleasure. I mean, it, we've been working for, for over two decades now, around two decades now. It's been uh, such a long time. I admire your dedication to your job, how much you've helped the kids, as well as the faculty. Um, you've been a rock in this place, and you're going to be sore, sorely missed. And, uh, you know, those are big sh shoes to fill. Uh, you are, you're you going to take a well-deserved retirement. Uh, there might be time periods where you kind of miss being back here, and I just as a result, wanted to get you a special gift here, and this is your new buddy. It's Harriet the hypochondriac here. You can see she's got a little cast there, and she talks. She says things like, My stomach hurts. And, Do I need to pass? Or, Can I use your bathroom? So, it was a pleasure. Enjoy, Harriet, and uh, enjoy your retirement, too. Thank you. Well, as much as the nurse offset appeal, it had a little space issue and the administration won't let me take it. So I'm um, going to try out Norm's room. Norm, my gosh, um, you've been here longer than I have, and I've been here what seems like forever. Um, you're, again, you're an institution in, in this school, and uh, you're going to be sorely missed. Uh, I, I love your passion for your art. I love having conversations with you. Um, and thinking of a special gift that really just sort of screamed Norman Ed that tied into your different passions. I, I think I finally hit on it. I, I think I got the right one. So um, always remembering the Finding Christmas uh, papers coming out in, 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 uh, in December and just you truly are an artist and a great artist. I, I wanted to merge the two and I found these and I thought, I thought immediately of you they're cookie door ornaments. You can put them on your Christmas tree. So Norm, it truly, truly has been a pleasure. Um, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss seeing you around. Um, hopefully I'll still see you, you know, around town and everything, but uh, good luck with everything. And I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to continue on with your passions and uh, you'll continue to teach and to, to share. Thank you. So last but not least is Claudia. Claudia, you've been around here for since the eighties. Um, you, uh, I, I'm going to miss our conversations. Uh, I'm going to miss having you in the building. Um, 
I wish you the very best. Your cruises, hanging out at your uh, at your pool, and what other what other ventures you go on in the future. I'm sure you'll um, get certified in something. Or uh, um, I'm going to start that over again. Well, Claudia, um, it's been a trip. Uh, you've been here since the '80s. Uh, you are definitely a major part of this school. Uh, you will be missed. Um, I'm sure I, I know I'm going to be missing the, the conversations that we had. Um, I'm going to miss seeing you in the building. Um, miss you at lunchtime. But uh, um, I do wish you the very best on, on what you're going to do. Um, Norm's room was, was pretty good, but I'll tell you what, I like this room. This is a good room. You've done, it, you've done a good, very good job with it. And it's a little more centrally located. I, when I was in Norm's room, I felt like I was out in Alaska somewhere because you have to go hike so far just to, just to do little things. Um, but this actually looks pretty good. Um, Claudia, for your gift, I wanted to get you something really special. And I thought, well, you uh, did so, such a good job with your math classes on Minute to Win It. I thought you could have your own home version of this. So I got you some Minute to Win It cups. Of course, uh, these cups can't be used for anything else. Um, but I thought you'd have that. But that just didn't seem like enough. So just to make sure that you keep all your memories for from school and, and whatever else needs pa passed along to other people. I got you not only just one thumb drive, I got you two. All right, Claudia, Norm, Peggy, Beth, and Jana, please enjoy your retirement. Thank you very much. And um, as much as I love your rooms, I think I'll stick with mine. Now hold on everyone, I did not dismiss you. This now concludes tonight's ceremony, the Golden Academy Awards. We wish our retirees well and good health, and for the remainder of us, we'll see you in the fall. Welcome to the first and hopefully only ever Westmont Hilltop. Virtual Golden Academy Awards. Woo! I hope for your years of what I hope you let's just start that. Again. <laughs> our our starter. Now you're in my head down. <laughs>